Hello, Leo. Hello, hello, my loves. All right. So you got the Lost and Found card. And when that comes up, I would imagine that I'm always like something that is lost is going to be found. But I also think that you're going to get some clarity from some of the other cards that come in. There's a lot of different messages I'm getting. So uh, maybe uh, several different Leos are going to get something out of this. But definitely think um, you may just happen to find it. Really, honestly, if you find something that you had lost and all of a sudden you come upon it in your house and you're like, oh, that's where that my favorite hair clip was or my that CD I've been looking for, or that book, that's just going to be confirmation that maybe something else in this message comes up for you. So talking about the middle of November here, but conversation with loss and found, I feel like somebody from the past could come through and it's going to knock you a little bit off balance. Two of Pentacles with the Strength card. I definitely feel like that's representative of you. Um, I also feel like that you could have almost a light bulb moment that also gets you really thinking about things in a different way and kind of looking at different scenarios in a different way. Somebody could say something that makes you look at them differently for the better or the worse. Okay, so there is definitely some clarity coming in, Leo. Kind of interesting energy you've got going on here in the middle of November. Let's see what else I have for Leo. Oh, that Magical Gateway card is for sure ready to come out. Oh, lost and found. So there also could be an opportunity that you didn't think you could make work. It could be something that your own business it could be something that we got purity. Um, I feel like that tells me the path is open. The path is open with this magical gateway card that's been coming out. But let's see what else we get here for that. Uh, we got lover. Yes. Well, that would be like that lover's energy. All right. So there is there is an option. When you say a magical gateway, it doesn't mean you're going to take it. But there is an opening for you. And we got wife with lost and found. Definitely somebody could have somebody from the past coming back in. But this could be something that is a, an opportunity that you thought was lost and, and was not the right path for you that suddenly becomes opened up again. Uh, we got the falseness and fortune. So you're not, you're still not sure about it. But two of pentacles tells me that as well. So. But for certain, I feel like it's kind of an opportunity, something that meant a lot to you. Uh, with that wife card, I'm just kidding. It doesn't mean that it's romantic, but it's something that meant a lot to you. It could be a promotion coming back around. It could be some money coming back to you that you didn't think. Somebody could repay a loan, even. All right, so we got Page of Cups, Crossed by the Judgment, and the Empress. Yeah, so there is a really good opportunity. You've got a choice to make. It was something you worked to manifest, so it could be a relationship even, because it is something you worked to manifest in the past, Leo. It is something you worked to manifest. Ten of Swords. Mm. All right. I mean, I've got the Ten of Cups, so this looks like it is a very good opportunity. I like the lover came on the Magical Gateway. Six of Swords has been coming up a lot, so it may require travel. There is something opening up. Yeah. It could be something being repaired, wrongs being righted. This could be karma coming back around because there's that tower. What's after the tower? Mm, temperance. It'll happen maybe during Sagittarius season, which starts on Thursday evening, a couple of days. Ten of Cups could be family. It could be a wrong being righted. It could be a wrong being righted. We got the Ten of uh, Swords there. I want to look at that first. Uh, any Anytime there's a choice. Anytime there's a choice. It's something being... I almost feel like... I almost feel like this situation is being potentially healed. This one wants four. And I want a couple on this. Oh, Six of Swords showed up again. And I want to know what happened in the past. Page of Swords, Two of Wands. You weren't sure it had any future. You did try it for a while. Ace of Pentacles on the Ten of Wands, though. 
King of Pentacles could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. So in the past, you did work to manifest something, the Magician, clarified by the Page of Swords and the Two of Wands. You did work to manifest something, and it didn't work out. It didn't work out. Uh, but never really got off the ground. I don't know if you took a big loss, but nothing really got off the ground. Okay, there's only been there was only small progress. So you're you're hesitant to jump back into this. You're hesitant to jump back into it. But we've got the two of swords coming towards you with the six of swords and the knight of wands. So you can leap gleefully into this, Leo. You can leap gleefully into this and um. Work toward it. it could be family stuff. This could be forgiveness that you need to give or somebody's apologizing to you. So it definitely feels like forgiveness potentially you need to give, but it's tough. We got the Queen of Cups, the Moon. There's the Ten of Wands showing up again and the Empress showing up. So we've seen the Six of Swords and I've seen the Empress and the... Uh, Ten of Wands as well come up from both decks. So the Empress, the Six. So this could be something that's gone on a long time. It could definitely be some old, some some old karma being fixed, some old karma being fixed, being repaired. Um, there's a lot of feelings. There's a lot of water under the bridge. Um, definitely could uh, be in a family situation. Could be with siblings, could be a child, could be parents. Um, somebody's holding out an olive branch. Could be you. Again, it's a general message. Put yourself on whichever side of the coin you're flying on. Leo, if this message resonates for you. I don't know if you thought, and if it's something financial, because I do have the Ace of Pentacles here. And if it's definitely something financial, I definitely see an opportunity to there could be money coming in. Again, some of you, somebody could just simply be repaying a loan. But it is going to fix because, I mean, you know, if you go a long time, this might have been a loan you never thought you'd get back. I always think of what my dad said, never loan, never loan money expecting to get it back. And so, but there could be some harsh feelings about the money. There could be some harsh feelings about the money or a little bit of sour grapes and that money's coming back. Um... This is definitely, Leo, something, I definitely feel like it's forgiveness for you to give. Maybe you're receiving forgiveness from someone. What's we got in the, I was trying to see what we had here with the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups, there's my Six of Swords, the Tower, the Temperance. I mean, there's an opportunity. There's an opportunity to heal this. Or there's an opportunity for something to be healed. Because ultimately, this could be something like a um, a promotion that really helps heal your finances. That you were like, I didn't think that promotion was going to come through. So it's definitely something that you would kind of, not in a mournful way, but you'd kind of just like, this isn't going to work out. Like, this is never going to be fixed. Things are going to move pretty quickly. Look at that. Knight of Wands, Eight of Wands. Um, four of cups and the ace of pentacles. I don't know if whatever starting is going to like kind of really, or if like, say you give forgiveness. I don't know that you're wanting to necessarily really invest the same way in this relationship. So definitely if it's romantic and it's somebody from the past, I definitely think with all these tens, I've seen 10 of wands twice, 10 of swords, 10 of cups is right there. I think that it's it's karma complete, like you're giving forgiveness, but you're not investing back romantically, like you're moving forward still, even though it's difficult for you, because this is someone that you very much care about. If it's a family relationship, you or they are moving slowly back into it. So while you or the other person that came seeking forgiveness is really wanting to amp up and get right back to where you were, you can't cross the same river twice, right? And so it's going to have to be like, there's the Ace of Pentacles showing up twice. There's going to have to be new energy brought in, okay? With the two, eight, with both of them, then it's the same Ace. 
All right, Ace of Pentacles. You're getting, you're planting a new seed, so things aren't going to be. It's not going to be peaches and cream overnight, and you may have to let them know that. Knight of Swords, King of Swords. All right, so you know this is a slow roll. Um, alternately, you may really. I mean, when a lot of truths come out, it may be just it, it's the path to healing, but nothing's ever easy, right? Um, you're going to have to release the past. They will as well. Um, we can't go on. We have to learn and grow from the past, but we can't keep reliving it. The devil with the strength card, seven of swords, king of pentacles, the chariot. I see it. I see it beginnings. Uh, if it's a romantic situation, I definitely see you walking away. And if it's a situation, some of you may end a relationship, but I, I kind of feel like this is somebody from the past coming in romantically. <clears throat> If you're single, there could be somebody new coming in, but you have to release everything that happened to you in the past and let that go and not bring that into the new relationship. So you may want to take it slow. If you meet somebody you're really into, I would say take it slow if you want it, if you want to have, want it to have a future. Um, yeah, if we got a little bit of falseness there and... There's definitely, I feel like with the falseness card coming up and as well as the purity, there was some sort of uh, betrayal. There was something where um, you felt betrayed or somebody else. Because again, somebody's seeking absolution. Somebody's seeking redemption. Definitely. Someone is seeking redemption. They're seeking forgiveness from you and they're wanting to start over. Um, I feel like platonically there's potential, but you're really going to take it slow. Um, I feel like that this is a good relationship if you meet somebody new or you've recently met someone new, but take it slow. And from someone from the past, I see you clearing the karma card and moving on. All right. If it's a new job, this could really put you on the path. This is something long term. If you get a job during this term, uh, during this time, I see it moving into a lot of long term stability and there will be growth because we're seeing aces. You're only at the beginning, but it, the Empress also came up out of both decks. This looks really good, Leo. So again, if it's something that needs to be given, even if it's forgiveness to yourself, um, there is a blessing coming in. And it's all in the way you use it. 